Gabrielle. Taylor okay, speaking. Hello there. Hi. Yeah, I ordered some tights, but they're a little bit late. Do you know where they are? They're going to be here tomorrow. Okay, then bye. Hello. Welcome back to another day on Patio Studios. I hope you're really, really, really super good today because I'm fabulous. Today is going to be a very different video to normal. It's going to be extremely different to normal. Today we're going to review these new look matte sheer tights, black 15 denier made in Italy, medium large. But the exciting thing about today's video is it is the UK and we barely ever, 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 ever get nice days outside. So it is a lovely day today. It's 17 degrees outside, it told me in the car just then. What I'm going to do is we're going to go out for a little bit of a walk and we're going to do a walking review of these black matte sheer tights. How can they be matte but sheer? Like matte but skinny, does that mean? Like thin? Um, anyway, so we're going to put these on and then we're going to go outside and do you a review walking around in the wilderness of the countryside. But first of all, I'm just going to get them out of the packet and give you my initial thoughts on these tights. Okay. Okay, I bought these tights on a whim, I like a crazy whim, so I have no idea what to expect. They are quite actually quite shiny, they're not really matte, they're more of a shiny than a matte. Oh, straight away that waistband is not the one. They do not look like they're gonna stay up for very long. I think they were quite Oh no, they were two ninety nine. Can't really expect a lot for two ninety nine, can we? Um, they are quite thin actually. They looked very a thick denier on the um, box, but they're not. They're really thin and they feel, oh my god, horrendous on my hands. So God knows what they're going to feel like on my legs. At the bottom there's barely a reinforced toe. It's like a tiny reinforced toe. Bit of a different knitting that's going on there with a seam all the way along the bottom. And then it's a 15 denier all the way up to the top. And we've got a little boxer brief there and a gusset in the middle there and then this waistband has got something funky going on I don't really know what is going on with this waistband but it's something very funky I don't think we're going to stay up very well um, but we're going to go try them on and we are not going to do any of the rest of the review indoors we're going to be outside in the wilderness of the world so see you all there in a minute okay so I'm out on my little excursion I've just had a cat for some. Also, if you didn't know, I have OnlyFans. Pantyo Studios OnlyFans is amazing. It is literally amazing. It is www.onlyfans.com forward slash Pantyo Studios. And on there is exclusive videos, short videos of me and my friends in tights. And just, you're going to love it. So make sure you hit that link on the screen right now and go and check it out. So the tights are on I've been walking I've been on my walk now for like I've been on my walk now for like oh, a bit over. I've been on my walk now for like 15 minutes and you know what's really really itching like all the top area like I just want to squat on the floor and just like itch my legs obviously I'm not going to do that because it's really inappropriate especially out in the open air of the countryside people think I'm a naturist <laughs> um, yeah they're really itchy the fit's like quite good I feel like this could potentially be the most authentic review I've ever done of a pair of tights because I'm actually wearing them out and about in the big wide world. Bit of them. They're good sizing, they're a medium, they're good sizing. Crotch isn't falling down as much as I thought it would fall down. And the toe area is comfortable in the old boots. Give us a thumbs up right now if you love these boots. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is that I've got this jumper dress thing on and I'm really worried because it's got like a boxer line in it and I'm worried that the boxer brief is going to fall down and then it's all going to be exposed and people are going to be like that girl can't even dress herself. Let's carry on walking and I'll tell you more points about the tights so stay right there. And if I really want to get rid of this pack for some but I don't want to litter so I'm going to keep tight hold of it. Um, and if you do not already follow me on Instagram, make sure you hit my Instagram up. It's Gabrielle Taylor one and also the most important Instagram of this whole episode is Pantyhose Studios Instagram. It is at Pantyhose Studio. The link for that Instagram will be down below on the Instagram. If you're afraid thinking like, why am I going to follow your Instagram as well as following? 
clock behind that. There was an ant in my hair. Is that an ant or a woodlouse? Is there loads? Is there loads? Oh my god, I've got nips! I've got nips! There's a load in there. I've actually got nits. Oh my god, I've not got nits, just to clarify. Um, if you're thinking why am I going to follow your Instagram as well as following your YouTube channel, well, because on there is still content. There's pictures of me like this in tights and like this in tights and like this in tights and like this in tights. So go and check that out and give every single one of my photos a like. There's thousands on there. Just keep scrolling. I'm just like, even if I'm not wearing tights, even if I'm wearing like, a winter outfit, just give it up. I also wanted to ask you a question, those American those American subscribers out there. I went to the shop the other day and I bought some milk and some bread on my personal YouTube channel. Please, I've really wanted to know this for the past 24 hours. In the UK, in Britain, we go out to the shop on a Sunday morning and we buy milk and bread. In America, what do you buy from the corner shop on a Sunday morning? Comment down below. Bacon. Pancakes. And they don't. Pancakes? No. Pancakes and milk. Interesting. Lots of corn pops. Lots of corn pops. Do you like corn pops? Or, no, I'm not going to do an American accent. Just comment down below what you buy from the shop on a Sunday morning. These tights are really, really irritating me right now. If I was to have purchased these tights that I've got on right now for work, I would be super, super annoyed because they are so itchy. I would be on my commute on the way to work at 9 a.m. and I would be like, why have I chose to wear these tights today? Because they're so itchy. I feel like they make the legs look very flabby though, very fat. But maybe that could just be my internal thought today. And if I'm not wrong, Feel light. Oh no! My boots have pulled the tights already. Look. I do anything drastic. I've got a leader bit on my shoe. I don't really do anything drastic. Tights pulled already. There's a duck down there in the lake. Where's my finger? Have you got it? Hello! Is it really close to my head? I honestly cannot wait to get these tights off. Let's re let's talk about what I'm going to give these tights out of 10. Honestly, I'm going to probably give these tights like a 6 out of 10. Comfort factor, 0. What do they look like? You tell me, but I don't think they look that good. They look okay, average. For two ninety nine, what can you expect? You can't really expect a lot, can you? Um, coverage of them. It's not an overall good coverage. It's very patchy, very blotchy. To make the legs look very blotchy. I'm gonna take that mark down to a five out of ten. If I was gonna wear a different outfit with these tights, I would wear the outfit that is called putting them in the bin I just don't like them as soon as I get home unless somebody wants to buy these from me but when I get home probably going to put these in the bin comment down below if you want to buy these types from me also I've got an Amazon wish list the link for that will be down below finally a bin to put the cameras in it's a great video this isn't it fantastic video slicing the Capri Sun in there this has turned into a very long walk. Let's look at the toe area of the tights. I've never actually taken my shoes off before on a park bench in the middle of a park in April, but now I have. So the first for everything. There's a wasp area. I kind of wish there was a reinforced toe in these just because I think they'd look a bit better with the reinforced toe and it's currently like a half arsed reinforced toe sort of netted, sort of not netted really not liking it 
You can see my top when nail varnish through, which I kind of like. The glisten in the light as well. Like I said, matte on the back, on the box. And they are not matte, they're shimmering in the light. If they were matte, I would expect absolutely zero shine from them. Comment down below if you agree, if you don't agree, don't comment. Um, I think they just look too shiny. Oh, it's so nice here. Yeah, I can put some bait. Yeah, don't like these tights. I need to get them off. They've ripped really easily. It's just disappointed me a lot. Um, I'm going to go now. I hope you've enjoyed today's video with me in the walk in the park. If you know where I am, don't comment down below. <laughs> There's a lot of pigeons over there. Um, okay, make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you follow Instagram and also do not forget about the OnlyFans, onlyfans.com forward slash fans from the studios. Um, I love you all so much. Thanks for watching and thanks for the 6,000 subscribers that we are currently on in like three weeks, which is amazing. I love you all so much. 